One Old Town restaurant is trying to get Chicagoans to try new, exciting flavors by putting them on common things, like tacos and fries. Today, we're taking them up on it, and we're heading to Forastero for their Korean-Mexican kimchi fries. Hope you guys like spice. And how about the uh, big bird? Can I come in a drink? So a true family business, a father-daughter team. Father, daughter, son, and mother. It's the entire family. It is. My dad has been in the business for over 30 plus years, so we decided to team up as a family. And he's from Mexico, so the Mexican part is obvious, but the Korean fusion part is less obvious. Well, we wanted to do something different. It's not from here, it's not from there. Just combining American food with the Mexican and the Korean, it's amazing. It offers some really unique flavors. It's always tasty, everything on the menu. The combination is delicious. Delicious. It makes it very approachable for people who might be a little afraid to try kimchi for the first time because it's on fries. Correct, and people love it. Sometimes they just order kimchi fries. I love the kimchi fries. Everything's made fresh. Incredibly fresh ingredients. He keeps his ingredients even a secret from the family. Yeah, including me. Well, it tastes as good as all I care about. So, Chef, you make all of your own kimchi. Yes. But really Daniela doesn't know all the secrets. No. No. Well, are you going to tell me the secrets today? Yes, you. Don't tell anybody Just else. Just me. We won't tell anyone else. OK, first of all, napa cabbage, garlic, uh, radish, carrots. Got some radish and carrots. Ginger. Finish out our Green veggies. Green onions. This is kuchukar. It's not too hot. It's a mild but, it, but it's a lot, a lot of flavor. Toss it all together. Okay. This version is for vegans, all vegetarians. Okay. But if you want to make their the regular way, mm -hmm. you need to add the salty shrimp sauce. There all we right. go. Just dump it in. And this is fish sauce, right? Yeah, this is a fish sauce. Okay. Into the jar. Into the jar. No one watched this part. I feel like <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, it's not going well. Hold on. Haha. One more piece. This is the profit. That's, we don't want to lose any profit, okay? Cover it up. So this guy's got to ferment for a few days, but you already have some that's done for us. Yeah. So let's move over let's to the fryer and milk and make milk some fries. All right, fries are in our basket, but first we have things we have to cook. Yes, the pork belly. Onions? Red onions. We have the, the kimchi ready. How much? The whole thing. The whole thing! That was really squished in there. One more piece. One, one more piece. <laughs> All right, and add the rest of the stuff? This is a uh, Korean air, manari, sriracha, sugar, and uh, more kuchukaru. Some sugar. I instantly like this more now. Just right. put some spices in. Some secret spices. Make like a pile, and now we can put the soup there. And ready to cheese. It and uh, ready to go to the oven. Okay, I'm gonna go find Daniela, get ready to eat, bring those out when they're ready. Okay, I'll let you know when you're ready. Thank you. Looking at my melted cheese stuck to the paper. <laughs> Can we dig in? Of course. That is the best kimchi I've ever tasted, ever. Me too. Mine's vegan, though. You don't have any of the pork or any of the fish sauce. Correct. And it also has vegan cheese and vegan sour cream. It has this sweetness that comes after you get that first kick, unlike any kimchi I've ever tasted. That special seasoning that your dad created for the fries, it's amazing. They're addictive. Why are you Chicago's best? The customers keep telling us these are the best kimchi fries they've had, and the food speaks for itself. As a customer, <laughs> these are the best kimchi fries I've ever had. You can add one more to your Yelp reviews. Here it is.